So how's your week going on? How's the week going on, guys? Now I'm not talking about the Valentine week. I'm talking about the week. I know you all are into Valentine zone, but I am talking about the normal week, not the Valentine week. Shalom. So the week everybody has good. Uh, we are basically in session number six, right? And till now we were discussing about the introduction of estimates, and we also discussed. Uh, started the discussion on the elements of building estimate that what are the elements in building estimate right so the first thing what we discussed yesterday was about the metric system and the feet inch system basically metric versus you can say imperial right also we discussed on the conversions so 1 inch is equals to 2.5 uh, sorry 2.5 cm or 25 mm same thing goes with 1 feet is equals to 12 inches so easily we can see Uh, sir it is not audible can you please check your audio sir
guys there is a technical issue uh, kindly please wait so we'll be back soon Sorry guys, I I guess there was a network issue or something due to which I was just out of the meeting. So uh, we had just discussed about what are the modes of measurements. Now, what is a mode of measurement? See, there are different activities for a construction site. So it can be excavation, it can be earthwork filling or anything. So every element has to be measured in a certain amount of unit. So excavation, you cannot uh, uh, like you cannot take an excavation into saying that uh, we are doing 
five meter of excavation you always have to take that quantity with respect to cubic meter so basically excavation is always done in volumetric basis i will share you uh, the book name so it is b n datta if you guys have heard of b n datta so it in that book the same table is given with you guys okay so you guys can uh, take that book and from that we will be discussing so earthwork is always considered in a normal scenario okay this is what this is a normal scenario it's not a constant but it's a normal scenario in normal scenarios you always consider earthwork uh, into the cubic meter format okay now let's suppose i already have a section in which i am told that okay so let's suppose i have already have a section in which i have told that this is a trench the depth of this trench is 0.5 meter and the width of this trench is 1 meter right and i am asked that this trench is going to be 10 meters in length so tell me what is going to be the earthwork or the excavation of the soil so you can do this with two formulas now first one is you can either go with 10 into 0.5 into 1 which is 5 meter cube good there is one more method if in the description it is written that excavate a trench with 0.5 meter uh, height or depth and 1 meter width so in that scenario here the unit of measure can also be 10 meter so at, at this time when you are when you are parametrically constanting the depth and the width at that time you can consider it to be 10 meters and you can get the rate of 1 meter of this kind of excavation so let's say somebody is saying that i have 10 meter of excavation in which the depth is this and width is 1 meters and per meter i will charge you 500 rupees so what is going to be the cost of 10 meters so 10 meters cost will be 5000 rupees for this trenching work am i clear yeah am i clear guys okay so let us move on to the next thing okay so let's suppose you have done the trenching work now you have to do uh hmm. yes so let's suppose you have done the trenching work and now you have to do the back filling so back filling of loose earth also comes under cubic meter okay so how much cubic meter of back filling you want to do so this is also going to come into cubic meter and the rate will also be in cubic meter higher of labor charges for shoring wall for protection side of the trench now what is a shoring wall so shoring wall is basically when you are trenching out let's say this is your trench this is your ground and here also it is ground or earth so you basically shore this wall so basically you put blocks into this so that this earth doesn't falls down so for this kind of shoring you place a kind of wooden pallet or wooden ply over here and then you support it so that the earth over here doesn't falls on to the bottom side so this kind of thing because you are placing a plywood right in the area you are placing the plywood on area so this type of works are always made on square meter this type of work will never go into volume 
this type of work always gets into area setup because you are placing a ply to the earth so that is why you always go with area let's go to the next one okay so now comes is the brickwork now brickwork it is given that brickwork with lime or cement mortar of one or more than one brick wall now you remember one or more brick wall we have discussed of half brick wall one brick wall one and a half brick wall two brick walls two and a half brick walls so this is all type of brick walls any type of brick walls if you are given okay brick work is always considered in cubic meter in general terms but if somebody tells you that no you have to develop a 150 mm thick brick wall so now you have the thickness is a constant now the thickness is what thickness is a constant at that time you can go to square meter in which you will get two things first one is going to be the height of the brick wall and the length of brick wall thickness is already a constant so no need to worry about that you will just multiply the height and length you will get the area and with this area you will get the cost of or rate of per square meter of this 150 mm thick brick wall so this also can happen that there are two brick walls let's say let us get into this more details so let's suppose there is 150 mm thick brick wall and then you have 250 mm thick brick wall both will come in square meter because thickness is a constant so 150 mm thick wall might have a rate of 3000 rupees per square feet and 250 could have 4500 rupees per square feet so you will multiply this 3000 by this area and this 4000 by this area and you will get the respective brick walls amount but in a normal scenario where you don't have all the information and your brick wall is changing again and again that the same wall is somewhere 150 somewhere 250 somewhere 300 then you will consider cubic meter let's go to brick wall in arches so again what is an arc so arc is a this kind of shape so how the brick walls are laid into this so you lay bricks like this like this like this so this is how you place the bricks on a arch okay so this is also cubic meter then we go with reinforced brick work what is a reinforced brick work reinforced brick work is a brick work in which you are placing the lintels also which is of reinforcement you have heard of sill band and lintel band so basically what you do is let's suppose this is a brick wall so within this brick wall after 1 meter or 1.2 meters you will place a band you will place a concrete band and when you place a concrete band you need to place reinforcement into it so this is what reinforced brick work okay now the second one is honeycomb brick work now what is a honeycomb brick work so i'll show you what is a honeycomb brick work so this kind of brick work is known as honeycomb brick work so this kind of brick works are considered in these kind of brick works are considered in square meter and reinforcement reinforced brick work let's see what is reinforcement brick work so that you just have a kind of knowledge Hmm. See here, a certain height is developed by bricks, and then they are placing a band over it. Band is going to be of concrete, and because of concrete, see this image. This is the band of concrete. 
and this concrete has reinforcement within it okay so let's go to the next item so here see what i was discussing 10 cm is already defined 10 cm or half brick wall with lime cement mortar so since one dimension is freezed so you are considering square meter see one dimension is freezed which is thickness so you are considering it in square meter let's go to the next brick fat soiling one or two layers now what is brick bat soiling so i'll show you brick bat soiling so it's basically you use bricks to develop a floor see do you see the bricks so this is how you place the bricks on the floor this is how you place the bricks on floor this is how you place the bricks on floor so this is known as brick flat soiling so this is also considered in square meter because you are placing it as a floor yes it is also known as brick bat koba right brick bat koba so this brick brick bat koba is a very layman language but the correct technical language is brick flat soling okay then comes is cornice string course or dip course now what is a cornice so cornice you can consider it as let's suppose there is a floor and around this floor so this floor is going to be an area but around this floor you are having a corner of either some other material this corners thickness is constant which is x so this kind of cornice is taken in running meter because this thickness is constant all on the sides so what you do is you take the length from here to here then from here to here then here to here and then again here to here so this kind of setup is always taken in running meter where the thickness length and width sorry thickness and width are constant so where two dimensions are kept constant you always use running meter am i audible to you guys am i audible to you guys okay perfect now let us get into the other things now the next thing is cutting holes through existing brick work so when you have to do the electrical work or plumbing work <coughs> so cutting holes is when you have to do the electrical work or the plumbing work all your work is done in per centimeter that what is the diameter of the hole and what is the depth of the hole so since a wall is just uh 150 mm or 300 mm or something so these holes are always considered in centimeter so you write down as either 15 cm or 300 cm it makes sense right chalo so let us get into other things so other thing is cutting opening in existing brickwork so cutting opening is what so if you are if you guys know that we place a kind of notch in the brick wall so that you can place the pipe right parallel to pipe so i'll just show you some images of it brick wall conducting see what is done over here so this is a brick wall and within the brick wall we have made a kind of slit what we have done is we have made a kind of slit so this kind of slit where you keep this kind of slit when you break this thing this wall 
you always consider this in cubic meter okay and let us talk about the whole so this is known as the whole so let's suppose you are creating a hole like this or let's say you are creating a hole like this see so these kind of holes since they are completely uh, their length and height their height and width is always constant so the depth is considered as the parameter of rate so you consider them as per centimeter okay now comes this concrete works so all the concrete works is always considered in cubic meter all the concrete work either its founding foundation or footing or slab or column or beam everything is considered in cubic meter same goes with reinforced concrete so reinforced concrete is with in which you have reinforcement so reinforced concrete is also considered in cubic meter which is a volume based thing then comes this dam proof course we discussed yesterday about dam proof course so i'm asking you guys what is a dam proof course can anybody tell me what is a dam proof course right very good so a dam proof course can either be a layer of bit bitumen between the two walls or it can be a concrete below the wall a layer to avoid water rising through the walls very good guys it protects the wall from dampness very good because of the capillary action very good kunal that's a very nice thing so dam proof course is always considered in square meter same goes with rc sajja so rc sajja is basically always has fixed length as well as fixed width sajjas are always have fixed length and fixed width around the window right so you always consider them in running meter now goes to precast rcc blocks so this also comes in volumetric cubic meter hollow concrete wall block also in cubic meter expansion joints in concrete so expansion joint is basically a sealant which is poured between two slabs so let's say this is one slab and you want to create an another slab so let's say this is the next slab so what do you do is you pour the sealant on into this joint so this joint always is measured in running meter okay this joint is always considered in running meter now concrete jefferies and alloys so these are basically you place or you pour some kind of admixtures onto the top la uh, layer of the slab or the concrete slab so that is considered in square meter same goes with co uh, uh, concrete fencing post or terminal posts so where have you have you seen any kind of uh, fence wall or any kind of light pole so what happens is this is let's suppose this is the light pole you will always have a kind of concrete pedestal right so this concrete pedestal the calculation is going to be in cubic meter now comes this stone work so let's suppose you want to do rubble masonry or coarse rubble masonry or asar masonry so at that time also you always consider cubic meter if you know that what is the thickness of your stone wall okay if you have already considered 
the facing of the stone wall or the thickness of the stone wall at that time same like brick work you consider square meter so you always go with square meter cut or dress stone work as sills step cornices or lintels or copings so whenever you are developing a a stone pedestal okay whenever you are developing a stone cut pedestal or stone dressed pedestals you always consider the it as cubic meter so see guys all these measurements are not constant with respect to time with respect to project with respect to certain rates we even have to go like ki this is not going to be come in your in your project it is not going to be cubic meter but it is going to be square meter or it can be running meter in that scenario what will happen is you will consider one element or one dimension as a constant and in this you consider two dimensions as constant okay chalo so let's go to the next page so here you have boulder works so you know what is a boulder boulder are basically small stones and when you do these kind of boulder works you always consider it in cubic meter so boulders are also like aggregates okay it's aggregates now coming on to roof so mostly any kind of roof you are doing any kind of roof so let's say you are doing a roof of tiles you will do square meter you are doing plaster roof many times you are only creating cemented roofs where you are placing just the paste of cement you consider square meter but if you are developing a reinforced slab you will consider cubic meter if you are doing tiling on roof you will do square meter if you are doing asbestor so what is an asbestor so if you guys have seen uh, the galvanized corrugated sheets which is what on the warehouse have you got, have you seen any warehouse till date warehouse or let's say uh, you are making a tin shed right tin shed so all these comes into square meter now if you go to jack arch now what is a jack arch a jack arch is nothing but wherever you find this kind of roof let's say there is one pole this is the second pole and this is the roof this is like a curved right so this kind of roof is also considered in square meter waterproofing waterproofing is basically a admixture so it is always applied as a paint and so it is considered in square meter now comes this felt work now what is a felt work in foreign you will see houses where on the roof you place bitumen sheets so i'll show you see this is known as a bitumen roof why do you place a bitumen on to roof for water resistance so that water doesn't penetrates into the roof so you apply bitumen so this kind of application is always considered in square meter now comes the ceiling so what is a ceiling ceiling is basically a fall ceiling made of either paste board plain ac sheets or supplementary board so that is also considered in square meter now coming on to floor so all types of floors either it is flat brick flat it's square meter lime cement square meter artificial stone or a uh, dado or staircase always consider square meter if it's a mosaic flooring it will also be square meter if it is a stone slab flooring it is also going to be a square meter okay now if i have to do something on woodwork so let's say panel or shutter boards what is a panel or shutter now when you have a door a door has a frame and this inside thing is a panel or a shutter so this shutter is calculated as square meter but at the same time when you do the frames this outer frame this is considered in cubic meter now shuttering 
for reinforcement works or rcc works you need to do shuttering so shuttering is considered in square meter trusses or the bartons are considered in cubic meter but normally they are also considered in length or running meter hand rails which is basically railings railings are considered in running meters because railings are always constant roof board ceilings and floor shelves are considered in square meters bellies or wood piles bellies and wood piles are one and same things the only difference is wood piles are made of woods and bellies are made of steel or concrete okay so they are considered in running meter because their diameter the wooden piles the diameter is always kept constant and with respect to this diameter you will get the rate of the complete length of the pile iron work is always considered in metric ton this qn is not now's language it is basically only used in europe in the other parts of the world the reinforcement is always considered or the steel work is always considered in metric ton it is metric ton okay same goes with cast iron same goes with bolts and nuts everything everything which is made of iron or metal comes in metric ton now collapsible gates or runners or channels are considered in square meter because they are rolling shutters now what is a rolling shutter you guys know i'll tell you if i write it down rolling sheet ro sorry rolling m e t e l metal sheet so this is called see these kind of metal rolls are considered as metal sheets now this roll will have a fixed uh, thickness and it can come in various shapes it can be a perforated a non perforated a colored a semi colored or any kind of aluminum or any kind of uh, iron or copper or anything or any metal see this is copper this one is copper this one is steel uh here it is aluminum somewhere you will find galvanized non galvanized ionized non iodized so all these kind of films or metal rolls are considered in square meter steel doors are also considered in square meter wire fencing is considered in running meter because wire fencing what is a wire fencing so i'll show you this kind of wire this wire always is counted in running meter because it it has only one thing which is the length okay expanded wire netting netting what is netting so netting is this this is called netting this one this one this this all these things comes under netting so netting is always considered in square meter okay now lightning conductors now what is a lightning conductor so see l i g n t i n i n g lightning conductor so this kind of instruments or this kind of wires or this kind of poles are placed on the top of the building so that whenever there is a heavy lighting the structure is safe okay so this is the see this this kind of 
small very thin copper tubes are placed on the houses or on the building so it is considered in running meter because the thickness is the constant now in finishes if you are doing plastering so plaster is always done on area so square meter plastering on ceiling is also done on area so square meter white wash which is also area so square meter painting on eaves gutters rain waters ventilation pipes so since here two dimensions are constant only length will change so it comes under running meter painting of letters and figures so let's suppose you want to paint a you want to paint b you want to paint c d so it will be considered in numbers so number 1 2 3 and 4 so there are four letters and each letter will be painted in 100 rupees so four letters will take 400 rupees so now comes is painting works on doors and grill so painting works happens on area so we always considers square meter okay so these are the general items on which we consider uh, what should we take either cubic meter or square meter or running meter so now if something is in cubic meter then you can convert it into square uh, cubic foot or square meter to square foot or running meter to running foot am i clear chalo so let's move out of this we'll go back to our slides so we discussed on metric systems we discussed on size of bricks types of brick walls type of brick bonds we discussed on the modes of measurement of any of the system now comes is what is the degree of accuracy no oh, sorry now comes is what is the degree of accuracy like how would you understand the degree of accuracy so let me tell you guys so let's suppose you have a tape and this is one line okay this is one line and you have a tape you will place one side of the tape to this and you will measure this up to here so whenever you will measure this up to here what is going to be the minimum value you are going to measure so let's suppose the true measurement of this line is 10.0 Zero zero five six four three two and let's consider this eight and this nine. So ten point nine eight five six four three two. So you won't write after point. You won't write each and every letter. So for a metric thing, you will only consider up to the two decimal places. So for this kind of dimension, you will write ten point nine eight. meter okay right same goes with square meter also for square meter you will consider zero up to 0.01 square meter for cubic meter also you will do the same thing which is 0.01 cubic meter so for measurements we always consider two digits of decimal places okay we always consider two digits after the decimal point or the decimal place am i clear am i clear to all so now i'm giving you 2 minutes for till now we have just done the 50% of practicality and 100% of theory from now onwards we will be only and only talking about examples 
so from 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 the next class onwards we will only and only discuss about the examples so till now if you have any doubts you guys can ask me i am completely available for your doubts for your queries if you guys have any doubts any queries please ask me any doubts please okay cement sheet is asbestos or which unit slab of rcc will measure in which measurement see slab of 150 mm thick when i write 150 mm thick or 250 mm thick so what i am doing is i am doing one dimension as a constant i am considering one dimension as constant in this scenario i will consider square meter of measurement but if i say concreting a slab i will always consider cubic meter because concrete comes in cubic meter not square meter okay so any other questions guys any other questions please anyone any doubts or anything please ask me from tomorrow onwards we will completely move into 100% practical sessions where we will take the drawings we will take dimensions we will do quantity estimates from now onwards okay kiran has asked what is vinod i have told you that this is b n datta you can straight away either go to internet because sharing of books in pdf formats is an offense okay so you can just go on to google and you can find out the book books we cannot share with anyone it is an offense of copyright it's an offense of copyright okay bn datta has only one book which is cost estimation and quantity surveying okay this is the only book okay how to know the standard unit rate of work or labor charge anything for it is so unit rate we get from the rate analysis we do okay so in future when we will do rate analysis so what how we are going to do is we will consider any activity and within that activity we will go like how much is the cost of 1 cubic meter or how much is the cost of 1 square meter or how much is the cost of 1 running meter so this is how we get the rate by rate analysis okay i'll show you how b and the looks like see this is how bn data looks like you can take this one this book this book is the best okay i am using the same book and complete industry complete qs industry refers to this book only okay so this is the book 
this is the video of that book so this is the same book every one in the whole industry is using okay any other questions guys did you guys saw the book welcome alan any other questions any queries you can please ask me okay so good night to all have a good sound sleep stay healthy stay fit i will meet you all tomorrow again with the examples we will be doing the solutions so i will request you all to keep pen and paper with you so that i will also solve and you also solve with me because we are going to do an interactive kind of system it's not going to be that i am only writing you guys will also solve okay so have a good night yes we have the class tomorrow prakash we will all connect tomorrow we will start doing the examples have a good night have a sound sleep stay healthy stay fit and we will definitely connect tomorrow everyone who is connecting here is definitely a positive man or a positive girl enjoy the week see ya bye bye